this uh, young kid, she looked at me, she freaked out, she like, you're so famous, you stay here. Yeah. Uh, anyone at home? Kishan? Sorry, uh. eh? you're looking for who? Uh? Your, your Kishan, right? Yeah, this is my house, uh, but next time tell me before you all come, Ken. Oh, Hello. okay, okay. Uh, welcome to my humble abode. Uh. This mirror is where the entire family checks themselves out first and then we leave the house. So we're a bit of a narcissist family. How about the other mirror? Fun for show. This is the model runway. So me and my mother walk out. And then we check ourselves one time here, in this mirror. Nice already, then we must see the full outlook. This mirror. And then before we leave the house, we ask the neighbour whether we look good. Or not. Then the neighbour, good. Then we go out. The neighbour, today not nice. Then we go back home. Just cancel our plans. Yeah. Prior to COVID, it was empty. So places where you don't normally see plants being sold, I will buy them. So a lot of these, right, are actually from the supermarket. Ah, you won't believe. Petrol kiosk. And then I come here in the morning, like one ape like that. And then I sit here, have my cup of coffee, and I start doing my thinking, I do my to-do plan. I have been mistaken a couple of times. Every time I don't do my face or my hair or wear nice clothes, that's when people recognise me as Kishan on TV. But once I dress up pretty and proper, Gurmit Singh, Harish from Ministry of Funny, Rishi Budwani, and I'm sick and tired of you guys getting it wrong. We all look different, we're not zebras, you know. But the people who recognise me, they know me so well. They know my shows, they know my name, I love you all. The other day only, this uh, young kid was playing block catching and then she looked at me, she freaked out, she's like, It's Kishan from Wild Banana. You're so famous, you stay here. Yeah. Can we look at your fish tank now, Harash? I mean, uh, uh, Kishan. What did you call me? You come into my house. You know the coffee machine need water. You want to see where I get the water from for people like you? Come, I'll show you. That here. But no, la. this fish tank is my COVID hobby. If you don't know, fish tanks have an interior design name called Aquascape. Okay, we just avoid this area, okay? Then I'm Do you play the piano, more. Kishan? You know how all parents have a dream for their kids to be like Beethoven or Mozart? And this is the piano that I got as a kid and I haven't used it for about 18 years. <laughs> it's so dusty. <laughs> See whether you recognise this or not. That was actually the Pink Panther theme song. Huh? Like the best. Uh, welcome to the kitchen that's uh, hardly ever used. Because it's like a showroom, you know? Actually, that's the thing about my mom. The first thing she'd come home, she wouldn't even greet the family. She was just going, what a neat kitchen. And then I'd be like, yeah, so neat because as you can see, I'm so skinny because she don't cook. Can you please take that part out of the video so she don't scold me? Hi, mom. I've been saying nice things. Thank you. Don't nice. Worry. I said uh, you cook a lot. What's the most humbling experience in terms of acting? There was a moment on set when I realised I sucked as an actor. And I remember this very well, yeah. I was standing behind the monitor where the director and the first AD were watching the playback of my scene. And the AD does this. This cannot act, oh. And then she turned around, she looked at me, she's like, oh. That broke me into a million pieces. But why is it the most humbling is because that's when I changed as an actor. I started studying more, I started learning the ways of acting. Four or five years later, when I did a TV show called Chloe, it was the same AD. She saw me do my first scene, she pulled me, and she said, now you can act. So if she didn't say what she said before, I wouldn't be here today, and I wouldn't have all of you invading my privacy also. So besides Tang Ling, what other memorable role did you play? Well, that's a good question. It has to be, yes, madam. And I had to learn Mandarin for it in about four days. They got me a tutor and we, and we nailed the role. Actually, you know what? So, I like stealing props from... Actually, I shouldn't say stealing. I like to take props from my TV shows. I got nominated for Best Comedic Performance. So, this poster is actually from... You know bus stop, they have the posters? I stole this one. Actually, I shouldn't say stealing. Can you imagine I got nominated for an award and I didn't win? Oh, I was going to say congrats, but okay. No, no, don't, don't. Come, I bring you into my space. Okay, so welcome to my room. Eh? You come in so fast. I thought you'd be behind me just now. Uh, there are a couple of parts to this room. The one we are facing now is the entertainment area where I watch all my movies uh, with my audiophile setup system here. This area is called the aftershock, where I like to shock people at my amazing gaming skills which are so bad and I stream them live. You must be wondering why there got one screen, here got one screen, here so much another screen. 
One for movie, one for gaming, one for the PlayStation. This is why you call a bait. It's only for sleeping. That's why I'm still single. This is what happens when you live with your mother. That's the reason, that's the state of the art sound system. So just in case anything happens, she cannot hear. I think you've seen throughout the house, I'm a big Jurassic Park fan. All the collectibles uh, all around my room. But my prize collectible, I have to say, is this. Autograph from Dr. Alan Grant, Sam Neill himself. The best gift I ever got. So one of the biggest roles that I did for a TV show was Chloe. And for the first time ever, audiences get to see me be serious. This is where I built that character. I grew a beard, I messed up this whole room, and I used to walk out of the room in character. So Chloe was one of those memorable shows. I have one last question. Yes? But I want you to do it in your role in Chloe. Huh? Any tips for homeowners renovating their house? If you're having like a house, I don't, I don't understand why you need to do anything about it. Just sleep and go on your own. Don't trust your interior designers. Trust yourself. <laughs> You know how hard is it to get into the role of Chloe? You know? Joshua took so long. You brought me back into a very dark place. My tip to you is don't trust your interior designer. Trust yourself. Because a lot of times they will tell you, that is in, Let's this is popular, do that. No. What is the space? It's you. Of course, if you tell me this style and this food, and if it's dark match, right? Trust your interior designer. Maybe you got no design skills. But me and my mom believe in furniture so that we can rearrange it every few months or every few years. It's up to you. So make sure you decide. Y'all intrude my privacy in? Yeah. Okay, thank you for coming, yeah? Thank you, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you for coming. If you like Just Swipe Last videos, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Click the bell so you don't miss out.